Hello YouTube and welcome to another edition of Computers 101. Yes, I realize it has been a while since I did my last video vlog presentation thingy. But I've been very busy with school, work, the whole nine yards. So let's get down to business. I have a question here that comes from a viewer. And their name is Camgree223. That's C-A-N-G-R-I-223. I hope I pronounced that properly. And they ask, Hey, I have a question. What works better? Adaware 2007 or Adaware SE Personal? And that's what I decided to base the subject of this video upon. So after we download and install Adaware 2007 from LavaSoft's website, an icon will appear on our desktop, which looks like this. So we'll give this icon a double click. Now, aside from a few aesthetics, graphic user interface changes, the concept and operation of Adware 2007 is virtually identical to Adware SE with a few added features like this real-time protection which are only available if you upgrade to Adware 2007 Plus or Pro. Now normally when you first start the program up the update window will first appear saying that there are definitions that need to be updated but since I happened to do that before this presentation this will be the first window that you see upon load up so we'll go ahead and start a system scan by clicking the scan now button now as I mentioned in my previous video you have several scan options to choose from the smart system scan scans the most critical parts of your system including processes and registry and selected system folders. You will also find additional scan options like cookies and most recently used objects on the scanning tab under settings. So the smart system scan scans the folders where these items will most commonly be found. The full system scan scans all of your drives so even if you have any USB devices, floppy disk drives, what have you, it will scan them too. You can also specify a custom scan and if we hit configure it'll tell us that we also have to upgrade to Adaware 2007. Now the nice part about Adaware SE, the previous version, was that it let us do a custom scan without having to worry about the upgrade. So for all you custom scan fans, I'd say stay with Adaware SE prior to 2007. So we'll just go ahead and run a smart system scan just hit the scan button down here now you have two progress bars the section progress basically tells you the areas that the scan is concentrating on it at the moment and your overall scan progress is just that it's the total progress overall technically since I have an 80 gig drive the scan will probably take around 15 minutes so we'll let that run and come back to it later now another nice feature about Adaware 2007 is that it now breaks the critical objects in your privacy objects up so obviously I don't have any critical objects those would normally include bad registry keys, malware uh, really bad instances of spy and adware. Your privacy objects are basically your tracking cookies and those are normal uh, if you surf a lot of sites like I do. So, last thing to do is right mouse click select all objects and that's, that's a left click to select that and then you hit remove and slowly but surely those objects will disappear so you'll just hit finish afterwards 
and that's it. And a few other features that are available if you upgrade to AdAware Plus or Pro. We have AdWatch, which I mentioned earlier, which is a real-time scan that monitors the processes that run in the background, actively watching for malicious programs and intercepting them before they integrate and install on your computer. You also have Process Watch, which basically opens up a window telling you what processes are running on the computer. And the Host File Editor, which also allows you to block advertisements, reverse browser hijack entries, create navigation shortcuts, and assist with parental controls, and make other exceptions to normal internet navigation. So in conclusion, the Kangri 223, if you like free features and don't feel like paying the money for the upgrade, then stay with AdAware SE. If you like custom scans and like all the other features that SE had to offer without the upgrade, you can stay with SE. Once again, you know where to leave the questions, comments, concerns, complaints, what have you, right down on the comment bar. This has been another edition of Computers 101. Thanks for watching.